wrist. Look at Look at the blood! No! That feels creepier to me than anything else that's gonna happen in that movie. Action. What's up, YouTube? I'm Lucy. I'm Natasha. I'm Manisha. It's Ramon. I'm Zachary. <laughs> <laughs> What's up, YouTube? I'm Lucy. Natasha. I'm Anisha. I'm Zachary. And this is Actors Watching Actors. If you couldn't tell from the title, we're all actors, and on this channel, we watch Actors 8K. We react to and review TV shows and film. If you haven't already seen our intro Q&A, where we each go over our favorite TV shows, films, and roles we would love to play, be sure to go and watch that video. Today, for movie night, we'll be reacting to my favorite film, the Silence of the Lambs. <laughs> but before we get started, be sure to give this video a like, leave a comment below, share it with your friends and family, and if you are new to the channel, be sure to subscribe. If you'd like to further support the channel and gain access to early and uncut reactions, including our full reaction to The Silence of the Lambs, the link to join our Patreon is in the description box. The Silence of the Lambs is a psychological horror film directed by Jonathan Demme and written by Ted Talley. It was released on February 14, 1991 by Orion Pictures and stars Jodie Foster, Anthony Hopkins, Scott Glenn, Ted Levine, Anthony Held, Cassie Lemons, and more. The film was adapted from a novel of the same name by Thomas Harris the second novel in his Hannibal Lecter series. This was the second attempt to adapt one of the Hannibal Lecter novels following 1986's Manhunter, which made little impact. The Silence of the Lambs, however, was a major success, spawning three subsequent films, two of which also star Anthony Hopkins. The film grossed $272.7 million on the only $19 million budget, becoming the fifth highest grossing film of 1991 worldwide. It also became the third and most recent film to win Academy Awards in all the five major categories. Best Picture, Best Director, Best Actor, Best Actress, and Best Adapted Screenplay. And it is the only horror film to win Best Picture. In 2011, The Silence of the Lamps was elected for a preservation in the National Film Registry and is regularly cited as one of the greatest and most influential films of all time. The Silence of the Lambs is my favorite film because I have always really loved horror films and I tend to really agree with um, the best pictures that the Academy chooses and I had already really liked the other films that had um, won the, the best five which was It Happened One Night and One Flew Over the Cuckoo's Nest so once I decided to watch this one. I really loved it and it became my favorite. Wow. Um, I also, Anthony Hopkins is one of my favorite actors because he's just incredible in anything that he does. I haven't watched it in a while, so. Has anyone seen it? No. Yes. no. I, I haven't, no. no. <laughs> oh, okay. Okay. It just has a butterfly or a wasp or something. Also. The cover. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've heard like bits and pieces just because of pop culture. So yeah. I'll I see. think like writing up this stuff, I learned more about it. But like I, I literally have little to no knowledge. Yeah. I, I don't watch uh, horror. I, I, yeah, I don't. I don't, I don't really watch yeah. horror that much either. I'm not um, big on it. I'm big on it so. Not because I get terrified. I just generally don't. Not interested. Um, yeah, I end up just having like these weird dreams. Yeah, yeah, like, nightmares. Yes. And I'm scared <laughs> in my own house. Yeah. You know, I can't it's shower. Okay. It's just that. Yeah, yeah, no, same. <laughs> it's okay. You know, like every five seconds, I'm looking behind the curtain. Yes. And I just can't do you it. Know, I, mean, I think I'm going to see. Yeah, you think you're going to pop yeah, up yeah. and something's going to happen. Yeah, I'm going to look in the mirror oh and someone's God. behind yes. me. You know? Luckily, I've always been able to like separate the film. Like, I'm always like, this is a film, this isn't real life. Wow. Like, my life. No, ever since the Omen. Mm. It's always been easy for me to like separate the that's two, good. but I feel like that's rare. I feel like a lot of people get affected by. Yeah, it. Ramon definitely does. Yeah, Do you? Yeah, At know. night, one time we were wa we watched what was it, Conjuring Three or the oh, Nun Conjuring. or something? Yeah. The second one. And I guess there's like an exorcist. One had an exorcism in it, and then we were 
and in Zion, like the national park, with t- two of my friends. So we were all sleeping in the same room. And I guess one of my friends woke up because she heard Ramon saying, like, doing an exorcism while he was sleeping. Or oh my god! Yeah. Oh my god! I was praying in my sleep. That's all. I don't know what you say. He was like, "Do you remember the name of Jesus?" He was saying in the name of God the Father or something like that. Oh yeah. my god! Yeah. 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 The nun the is, is, is uh, scary, and it was yeah, like sprinkles goodness. of the nun in the conjuring. Oh, so, yeah. That's that's scary. Scary. Praying over the blood. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Uh. <laughs> yeah. I think that's super impressive though with the like I'm sure it's gonna be a good movie because yeah. I mean I mean to I win. hope it's gonna be to win all, all that. Yeah, to win all that it has to have it's some, gotta you know, have some magic. Yeah. 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 I feel that like even the way it's di- from what I remember because I haven't watched it in years so it'll be like a good refresher. But from what I remember to the way that it's directed or like when I've read about the trivia, I guess um, there's parts where when the person is talking to um, Jodie Foster's character they're looking straight at the camera but when she's talking she looks slightly off because the director wanted us to see her point of view Mm -hmm. so i thought it's things like that that just make it such a great movie and puts you in there and and what makes it so scary yeah, I love when they do that to bring us into it. Yeah, I'm, I'm ready. I'm, I'm, I'm scared for you. <laughs> like I'm more worried You'll about you. Than... Yeah, my hands right I, here. I'm gonna pray in the it's name of right Jesus. Yeah. Okay. Anthony <laughs> Hopkins. <laughs> Yeah, I'm exactly, yeah, I feel like I've only seen him in The Father. Or I've probably seen him in other stuff, but I really loved him in The Father, mm-hmm. which he won his other Oscar Ooh. for. I don't know if I've ever really seen him in anything like oh, okay. fully. I'm trying to think and rack my brain. I'm like, you know what? I don't. I've heard of him. I've seen like maybe clips, but I've never seen anything. So I'm excited to see his performance. Mm-hmm. And also, I want to see if like the pop culture things I've seen. I'm like, is it actually this movie, or am I thinking it was? <laughs> and just seeing like, oh, so that's where that came from. I don't know if it was in in the class we're taking now for acting or the one before where they made us watch a video of Anthony Hopkins. Mm-hmm. And what is that show he was on? Westworld, I think. Uh, yeah. And yeah. it was like a second a clip where he did a scene and he li- literally showed like eight different emotions in his dialogue within a minute wow. and it was just like wow he's just Perfect. so like every you could see every thought in every sentence yeah. and wow. also he, I was reading about this before and he had been acting since the 60s but this was he took this movie and he thought because he wanted to be an a-lister and mm-hmm. the, he saw it as basically his last thing if like if this doesn't happen i'm just gonna go do theater like i think it was in britain or something and automatically he became an a-lister after this because yeah. he won and the yeah. movie and was, was like and it was like what 50s yeah he, he, yeah i think he was, was it's good. never too late it's <laughs> never too never, late never. Okay, everybody, get your snacks out and let's watch The Silence of the Lambs. I love that lion. Also, wasn't it weird that it came out on Valentine's Day? Yeah, I was thinking mm-hmm. that too. I forgot to say, like February fourteenth. Imagine what? how many people went on a date to go see this though. But also, when yeah, your date would cling to. Uh, yeah, I was gonna say. Yep. I guess that's a good good we idea for a first date. That, that, that was the move. And I was gonna say it's interesting because most Oscar movie, like when they want them to be Oscar nominated, they come out in the later part of the oh, year. Oh yeah, 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 like around like November, December. But I feel like they probably weren't because like. They, people say the Academy hates horror, so right. they probably weren't yeah, even were thinking about on it. it. The FBI actually worked uh, with the movie. Uh, really? They thought it was a good idea because they would recruit more females to the FBI. Oh, is she an FBI is agent? The FBI? Spoilers! You could see. <laughs> I just see someone I just see jogging. Some, yeah, right I just see her now. running. <laughs> That's Jodie Foster. Yeah. Why does it look cold outside? But she's sweating so intensely. Because she's running. Because she's in the FBI. And they made it. Yeah, the <laughs> FBI sweats. Didn't you know? <laughs> Oh, wait, I would have thought you wouldn't be sweating too much because it's cold out. Nah, if, if you, when you really putting in that work. Take twenty. Really, I don't run. <laughs> <laughs> She's gonna need all this when she escapes the cult. <laughs> you running with no headphones? Oh my gosh. They didn't exist. Uh, I mean, they existed. But like, but wired. Look, wired. FBI. I don't even know if they had Walkman. Okay, now. Yeah, this I is ninety one. Yeah, they know. did. So I would have already visual. changed and showered. I get acne when I sweat like that and don't change. You looking for Crawford? Yes, sir. Well, he should be back in a couple should minutes. Why don't you wait in his office? Yeah. 
Did you guys see on the board it said skins mm -hmm. or a bunch of arrows pointing at the back? Uh -uh. Is that a spoiler? Okay, let. Hey! The jobs come up, and I thought about you. Double major, psych and criminology, graduated magna, summer internships at the Reisinger Clinic. It says here, when you graduate, you want to come to work for me in behavioral science. Yes, very much, sir. Very much. Her voice. We're interviewing all the serial killers now in custody for a psychobehavioral it's very, profile. Like, it's not, it's Could lower than I thought it would be. It's like very, like this. Most of them have been because happy to talk to her. us. You spook oh, easily, Starling. Let me see what you see. Not yet, sir. You will be. Like oh, yeah, 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 yeah. 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 They're looking directly in the camera. The so yeah, 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 yeah. You guys need to pay attention. Cannibal, the cannibal. He just said that the one they want most refuses to collaborate with them. She's going to get spooked? For sure. Excuse me, sir, but why the urgency? Lecter's been in prison for oh, so many years. Yeah, I was like, where'd this accent come so from? I didn't, I didn't really Hannibal hear it before Hannibal. until just now. Be very careful with Hannibal Lecter. Dr. Chilton at the asylum will go over all the physical procedures used with him. Do not deviate from them for any reason she whatsoever. Gonna. And you're to tell him nothing personal, Starling. Tell him everything. Believe me, you don't <laughs> want Hannibal Lecter inside your head. Oh, he's a monster. <laughs> Pure psychopath. Oh, he's a... You know, we get a lot of detectives here, but I must say, I can't ever remember one as attractive. Ew. Here we go. Mm -hmm. yeah, he always so plays a creep. Oh, oh, in the this can be quite a fun town. Crawford's very clever, isn't he, using you? What do you mean, sir? Pretty young woman to turn into. Ew. Pretty young. I don't think Lecter's even seen a woman in eight years. And oh, are you ever his taste? So well, that's a weird thing to say about a person who thinks a monster is like, oh, oh, you're, you're his case? You should be able to remember the rules. Ah. I'm going to show you why we insist on such precautions. On the afternoon of July 8, 1981, he complained of chest pains and was taken to the dispensary. His mouthpiece and restraints were removed for an EKG. When the nurse leaned over him, he did this to him. Oh, I don't even want to see it. <laughs> his pulse never got above 85. Even when he ate her tongue. Oh, it feels creepy. I like it. I keep him in here. He's the bastard. He ate her tongue. <laughs> well, maybe we'll have more luck if I go in by myself. What do you think? You might have suggested this in my office and saved me the time. Okay. She didn't know how to get here. Yes, sir. Then I, I would have missed the pleasure of your company. Yeah. <laughs> Play him. Oh, that guy. I know him. I don't know his name, but I know his face. He's the Boston uh, white chick. Oh, I don't remember that. I mean, I remember white chicks, but I don't remember him and white chicks. I just know his face. You recognize his face. Hi, I'm Barney. He told you, don't get near the glass. Yes, you you recognize that strong. voice? Mm -hmm. The voice, Nice yeah. to meet you, Clarice. You can hang your coat up here if you like. Oh, no, I do, I do, I do recognize He's past the others. The last cell. He was on something you else. Like a fan. No, I just got an audition for tomorrow. Okay. Mm. He was also in uh, Coming to America. Mm. That's what it is. Okay. Mm. That's what it is. <laughs> he was one of the prints. Well, no. One of the he was a landlord. Oh. oh. Never mind. Oh, and oh, yeah, the apartment. Mm. I remember. I remember. And then he has the bathtub yeah. with the cigar. <laughs> this part is really good. Dr. Lecter, my name is Clarice Starling. Can I speak with He's you? He's a doctor. You're one of Jack Crawford's, aren't you? I am, yes. May I see your credentials? Certainly. Closer. I like his voice. Is he locked in? Yeah, I think there's a, yeah, like a glass. Yeah, there's a glass. glass. So don't go too close to the glass. We don't trust him with bars. Or anything. Looking into her eyes. Yeah. They're both looking straight down the barrel. That expires that in one week. You're not real an FBI, are you? I'm still in training at the academy. Jack Crawford sent a trainee to me. Yes, I'm a student. I'm here to learn from you. Maybe you can decide for yourself whether or not I'm qualified enough to do that. Now then, tell me, what did Miggs say to you? Multiple Miggs in the next cell. He hissed at you. What did he say? He said, 
I can smell your cunt. I see. Oh, gosh. I myself cannot. <laughs> Ew. You use Evian skin cream. Did you do all these drawings, Doctor? Ah. That is the Duomo seen from the Belvedere. You know, Florence? All that detail just from memory, sir? Memory agent starting is what I have instead of a view. Well, perhaps you'd care to lend us your view on this questionnaire, sir. Oh, no, 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 no. You were doing fine. Now this ham-handed segue into your questionnaire, it won't do. I'm only asking you to look at this, Doctor. Either you will or you won't. Yeah. Jack Crawford must be very busy indeed if he is recruiting help from the student body. Busy hunting that new one, Buffalo Bill. What a naughty boy he is. Do you know why he's called Buffalo Bill? Please tell me. The newspapers won't say. Well, it started as a bad joke in Kansas City homicide, and they said, this one likes to skin his humps. Why do you think he removes their skins, Agent Starling? Throw me with your acumen. It excites him. Most serial killers keep some sort of trophies from their victims. I didn't. No. You ate them. No, you ate yours. Oh, Agent Starling, you think you can dissect me with this blunt little tool? No. I, I, I thought that your knowledge... You're so ambitious, aren't you? Do you know what you look like to me with your good bag and your cheap shoes? Ooh, you look like a rube. That was a rube. What is that? Well rube? scrubbed, hustling rube with a little taste. Good nutrition's given you some length of bone, but you're not more than one generation from poor wire trash, <laughs> are you, Agent Stein? God, hey. And that accent you've tried so desperately to shed, pure West Virginia. What is your father to you? Is he a coal miner? Does he stink of a lady? Trying to get underneath your You know how quickly the boys found you. All gym. those tedious, sticky, fumbling right, with the exits of cars. Okay. But you could only dream of getting out, getting anywhere. You see a lot, Doctor. But are you strong enough to point that high-powered perception at yourself? What about it? Why don't you, why don't you look at yourself and write down what you see? Or maybe you're afraid to. You want to come hard to your neck. Yeah, that would be better. Right that would be better. Like, you test me. I ate his liver with some fava beans. You fly back to school now, little Starling. This is so different than the father. So, such a different character. Range. I did my wrist. So I can hide. <laughs> Look at the blood! No! Oh! 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 That's nice. Oh. That feels creeper to me than anything else that's gonna happen in that movie. That happened to you, discourtesy is unspeakably ugly to me. Listen carefully. Look deep within yourself, Clary Starling. Go seek out Miss Moffat, an old patient of mine. M O F E T. Go Doctor. now. I don't think Mix could manage again quite so soon, even though he is crazy. Go now. I don't even want to eat. Him. This is really okay. terrible. I didn't remember that, but now she has the information. <laughs> yeah, she got information. She better go wash her face. But because of dude, uh -uh. she threw See, that me, stuff at her. Somebody like, like me, I would have broke down. <laughs> <laughs> Why didn't you wash your face, girl? Why you I think that's a tear, though, not not the stuff. Yeah, I know. Oh, I but why her face? She probably did. I hope so. Cause she got perfect makeup. Oh, poor girl. Mm -mm. We know they have to give her last looks again. <laughs> <laughs> See, she did break down. No, I mean in that second, I would have yeah. been done. Turn around. Hands behind your back. Thumbs up. Dead, Starling. Dang. Johnson, good job. Good entry. Good command. Starling, where's your danger area? In the corner, sir. Did you check okay. the corner? No, sir. Migs is dead. Dad. How? 
eaten. Oh, the order leader heard Lecter whispering to him all afternoon and Mitch oh, crying. Lord. They found him at bed check. He'd swallowed his own tongue. You don't have to feel How any would way he about do it. That? Lecter did it to amuse himself. Look, I know it got ugly today, but yeah. you mentioned Remember when they know. told her don't let him get Moffitt. into your head? Mm -hmm. Any follow up on her? No record of anyone named Moffat, but um, I thought the yourself reference was uh, too hokey for Lecter, so I figured he's from Baltimore, and I looked in the phone book. So am I. Yo, people. He yo, people. Hey, my people. So nobody's been in here since 1980? Not to my knowledge. This is the number for our Baltimore field office. Now, they know that you're with me. You call them if anything should happen. Yes, Miss. I will not be doing that. I, I feel like it can fall. It would fall on top Your of me. Oh no! That should be a sign right now to go in. Mm -hmm. She's about to be prisoner somehow. They really can't uh -uh. do this in the morning. I would go to the hospital. Like you don't know what you could have just got infected. That's how you get the real stuff. Mm, stop doing this. It's not even that scary like compared to <laughs> movies nowadays, but I'm just scared something's gonna pop out. Is that a hearse? Yeah. I think it is. Oh. She hey, gonna belong in that hearse. They're gonna yeah. find a body or something. You okay, Natasha? I'm not happy. I know, I can tell. You can barely get <laughs> it's, a, it's, a, it's, a, it's a mannequin. It's a mannequin. <laughs> Dang. Real time, real time. Real time. In a fake eyelash. <laughs> <laughs> Hester Moffat, the rest of me, miss the rest of me, meaning that you rented that garage? Hey, what's up? He's right there. He's gonna close it on you. A clean time. Now nah, he likes, remember? He's giving her clues. Thank you. Because she's wet. The bleeding is soft. How did you. Dr. Lecter, whose head is in that bottle? Why don't you ask me about Buffalo Bill? Well, do you know something about him? I might if I saw the case file. Well, why don't we talk about Miss Moffat? A former patient of mine oh. whose romantic attachments ran to, shall we say, the exotic. I did not kill him, I assure you. Merely tucked him away very much as I found him. His dress, uh, makeup. Raspo was a transvestite? In life? Oh, no. Garden variety manic depressive. Tedious. Very tedious. No, no, just think of him as a kind of experiment. A fledgling killer's first effort at transformation. How did you feel when you saw him, Clarice? Scared at first, then. Accelerated. Jack Crawford is helping your career, isn't he? Do you think he visualizes scenarios, exchanges, fucking... He's like, let's get to the real important stuff. <laughs> <laughs> that doesn't interest me, Doctor. Frankly, it's... It's the sort of thing that Miggs would say. <laughs> she knows how to get him. What happened to your drawings? Punishment, you see, for Miggs. Just like that gospel program. When you leave, they'll turn the volume way up. Dr. Chilton does enjoy his petty talk. I've been in this room for eight years now, Clarice. But I know they will never ever let me out while I'm alive. What I want is a view. I want a window where I can see a tree or even water. I want to be in a federal institution far away from Dr. Chilton. What did you mean by fledgling killer? Are you saying that he's killed I'm biased, him? I love him. I'm offering you a psychological the character profile of Bill. I don't Based know at this point. <laughs> <laughs> He's so smart. I'll help you catch him, Clarice. I've waited, Clarice, but how long can you and old Jackie like boy wait? Her. Our little Billy must already be searching for that next special lady. No, she's the next person. Oh, she's doing his vibing. Oh, I know this song. Is she like giving him a ride? Oh no. Yeah, okay. Someone behind, probably. That's the Gonna first hit the truck behind, behind maybe? Mm hmm. Is that Nick? Mm 
Ew. What's up with his hands? Yeah. <laughs> I've seen that actress before. Who is she? The fact that she's even right, you can been in the house. Child, don't do it. I wouldn't even have looked. I would have just kept it moving. Okay. Me too. Can I help you with that? Would you? Sure. Wildin. Why would she? Stupid. She's wildin. Stupid. All the way back. Now you're going. Oh. Come on, baby. It was obvious as hell. Are you about size 14? Sorry. I'm glad, you know, they didn't need to show stuff neither, you know? She walked into that one, though. Did he ask if she's a size 14? Yeah. Yep. Okay, three days. Ooh. Then he shoots them, skins them, and dumps them. So oh, I don't want to know. That's just, uh, Bimmel, the first one. Not really that Her bad. body was the only yeah. one he took the trouble to weight down. I can do so this actually, one, she man. was the third girl found. Look at him, Starling. Tell me what you see. Oh, he's a white male. Uh, serial killers tend to hunt within their own ethnic groups. Um, he's not a drifter. He's got his own house somewhere, not an apartment. Why? What he does with them takes privacy. And he's never impulsive. He'll never stop. Why not? He's got a real taste for it now, and he's getting better at his work. Not bad, Starling. Questions? Yes, sir. Um, you haven't mentioned anything about the information contained in my report or Dr. Lecter's offer, sir. Considering it. That's why you sent me in there, isn't it? To get his help on Buffalo Bill, sir? I just wish I was in on it, that's all. No. If I'd sent you in there with an actual agenda, Lecter would have known it instantly. He would have toyed with you, then turned to stone. Yeah, that's smart. See how it's all men? Sexist. Yeah. Ew. None are cute. <laughs> <laughs> that's what she's thinking too. She's like, ugh. Right. Take a picture, it'll last longer. Remember we used to use that? <laughs> <laughs> Everyone has a camera now, and they'd be like, okay. No, they get but like, sometimes I'm just like mindlessly looking, and people are like, why are you saying, I'm saying, no, I'm just. Not like, true. No, my eyes way. just like wander, and then. Yeah, no, I'm a people watcher, <laughs> so sometimes people don't wonder why I'm looking. I'm like, man, I am judging you all through and through. Oh, no, no. The I'm not doing there, that. Probably. My eyes just wander wonder? sometimes. I'm, I'm a people watcher. I, <laughs> so you actually are staring when they're like. I like to watch like, people and see what they do, how they're like mannerisms. Who is that? Another I mean, that's dude? good as an actor. Just, oh, she's it. seen something, like a flashback or something. No, I think she wandered in, no? But wouldn't it be a girl? I thought they were... He was Who killing is? girls. Right. Who are you? Oh, oh yeah. Oh. Her dad. Oh, her dada. Takes her back. And she's in West Virginia. Star-shaped contact entrance wound over the uh, sternum. <gasps> A uh, muscle stamp at the top. Wrong for death. Wrong for death. Two of her fingernails are broken off, and there's uh, there's dirt or grit under them. She's got something in her throat. Now I don't know if I'd want to be that actress. <laughs> <laughs> I feel like it's not a curse. Oh! What is that? Is it kind of seed pot? No, sir. That's a bug cocoon. It's the butterfly. There's no way that Oh, on the cover. Like that. Like that. Unless somebody shoved it in there. We're super into bugs. They're bug dudes. Yo. What do you do when you're not detecting it? That's disgusting, guys. Try to be a student, Dr. Pilcher. You ever go out for cheeseburgers and beer? <laughs> The amusing house wine. Cheeseburgers and beer. Are you hitting on me, doctor? What? <laughs> yes. It seems like she kind of likes what him. What do you got, Agent Starling? I mean, she gave him more than Mr. she's given anybody else. Sticks. Catherine is very gentle and kind. Yeah. Talk to her and you'll see. You have the power. You are in charge. Jesus, that's really smart. Anywhere she keeps repeating the name. Nice eyes. And I promise you, she sees Catherine as a person and not just an object. It's harder to tear her up. Please. 
Release my little girl. In time to save Catherine Martin, the senator promises you a transfer to the VA hospital at Oneida Park, New York, with a view of the woods nearby. Maximum security still applies, of course. You better take it. You have reasonable access to books. Best of all, though, one week of the year, you get to leave the hospital and go here. Plum Island. Every day of that week, you may walk on the beach. You may swim in the ocean for up to one hour under SWAT team surveillance. Oh, okay, I was going to say, that seemed dangerous. And there you have it. The SWAT team. Is. You get the whole vacation? Copy right? Easy. That's more I feel than like I they didn't have to offer file. that last part. He would have been cool with kids. He just wanted a window. Yeah. And y'all gave him a lot. Right? Not That's better than me. Final. Who gonna take me to an island? For real. I can barely get guys to buy me a drink at the bar. Quit talk quo. I tell you things, you tell me things. Not about this case, though. About yourself. No. Quit talk quo. Yes. Don't fall for that crap. What is your worst memory of childhood? Death of my father. He was a town marshal, and one night he... She's not supposed to say. ...surprised two burglars coming out of the back of a drugstore. Good Catherine. Oh. They shot her. Was he killed outright? No, he was very strong. He lasted more than a month. Mm. My mother died when I was very young, so... I'm sad. My father had become the whole world to me. And uh, when he left me, I had nothing. I was 10 years old. You're very frank, Larry. Quid pro quo, Doc. So tell me about Miss West Virginia. Was she a large girl? Yes. Big through the hips, Romy? They all were. What oh. else? I mean, I guess. She had an object that, deliberately yeah. inserted into 14. her throat. So it's 14 now, member. And she looks, and that looks like regular. Yeah. I don't know what it means. But I guess, but this I guess is back the 90s then, too. yeah. Is it a butterfly? Yes. A moth. Just like the one we found in Benjamin Raspail's head an hour ago. Why does he place them there, Doctor? The significance of the moth is change. Our belly wants to change too. There's no correlation in the literature between transsexualism and violence. Transsexuals are very passive. Have a go. You're so close to the way you're going to catch him. Do you realize that? No. Tell me why. After your father's murder, you were orphaned. What happened next? I don't imagine the answer is on those secondary shoes, Clarice. <laughs> I went to live with He's my cousin and her husband hard. in Montana. They had a ranch. Was it a cattle ranch? Sheep and horses. How long did you live there? Two months. Why so briefly? I ran away. Hi, Clarice. Did the rancher make you perform fellatio? Did he sodomize you? Oh, my gosh. Oh, my gosh. No. He was a very decent man. You creeper. Quid pro quo, doctor. Billy is not a real transsexual, but he thinks he is. He tries to be. He's tried to be a lot of things, I expect. There are three major centers for transsexual surgery. Johns Hopkins, University of Minnesota, and Columbus Medical Center. I wouldn't be surprised if Billy had applied for sex reassignment at one or all of them and been rejected. On what basis would they reject him? Look for severe childhood disturbances associated with violence. Our Billy wasn't born a criminal, Clarice. He was made one through years of systematic abuse. Billy Foster. hates his own identity, you see. He thinks that makes him a transsexual. It rubs the lotion on its skin. It does this whenever it's told. <gasps> Mr. My family will pay cash. Whatever ransom you're asking for, they'll pay it. <laughs> It rubs the lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Not that sweet little dog. <laughs> okay, okay. Poodles are evil sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> it's always a small dog. <laughs> I know it really is. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh! I didn't 
too. What was it? Her, her fingernail. That's oh. when she said, like, the oh, girl the girl. Oh, yeah, yeah. that she cut it off. Yeah, yeah, yeah. I called Senator Ruth Martin. She never oh, heard this doctor is weird too. Yeah, I'm not offended. They scammed you. Oh, he like. They're transferring him. Stand outside. Oh, I thought he was like torturing him or something. No, they just don't. But it makes sense because he. I hope he gets people. eaten, honestly. That guy's Who's just salty. Doctor? Yeah, he's very. He's like. He's gonna get stabbed by the pen or something. Senator Martin, but there is. He's gonna get dealt with. I designed it. Of course, I'm He's gonna a get that pen from my own brand. This is my favorite well. scene, if it's the one I'm Identify thinking. Identify Buffalo Bill by name. Answer me, yeah, Hannibal. I think it's later, but. You answer me now, or by God, you'll never leave this cell. His first name is Louis. How's he gonna get it? He's in a stranger. I told the rest of the senator herself, but only in Tennessee. And I have a few conditions of mine. And that's not the truth. I think I know the doctor. Yeah, no, I've seen him in Dr. Things. Lecter. He always plays like a skis. I brought an affidavit guaranteeing your new rights. I won't waste your time or Catherine's time bargaining for petty privileges. Clarice Starling and that awful Jack Crawford have wasted <laughs> far too much time already. Let me help you now and I will trust you when it is all over. You have my word, Paul. Buffalo Bill's real name is Louis Friend. I met him just once. He was referred to me in April or May 1980 by my patient Benjamin Raspell. Raspell had become very frightened. Apparently, Lewis had murdered a transient and done things with the skin. We need his address and a physical description. Tell me, Senator, did you breastfeed her? Now, wait a minute. Yes, I did. Toughened your nipples, didn't it? Oh, God. Oh, son of a bitch. He's a creepy. Amputate a man's leg, and he can still feel it tickling. Tell me, Mom. When your little girl is on the slab, where will it tickle you? Take this thing back to Baltimore. Five for ten, strongly built, about 180 pounds. Hair blonde, eyes pale blue. He'd be about 35 now. He said he lived in Philadelphia, but may have lied. That's all I can remember, Mom. But if I think of any more, I will let you know. Well, it's only through my own unique insight into Lecter's mind that this breakthrough oh, is possible. Oh, this guy. Shut up. Buffalo Bill's real, uh, real name is now a matter of record like with the proper authority. He freaking figured it out. Dr. Frederick Schultz. How do you spell that? C-H. Uh, Good evening, Clarice. It's a pen. I thought you might like your drawings back, Doctor. How oh, very thoughtful. Or did Jack Crawford send you for one last wheedle before you're both booted off the case? No, I came because I wanted to. People will say we're in love. <laughs> Anthrax Island. Oh my gosh. That was an especially nice touch, Clarice. Yours? Yes. Your anagrams are showing, Doctor. Lewis Friend. <sighs> Iron Sulfide, also known as, as Fool's Gold. Yeah. Oh, Clarice, your problem is you need to get more fun out of life. You were telling me the truth back in Baltimore, sir. Please continue now. Well, I have read the case files, have you? Everything you need to find him is right there in those pages. And tell me how. First principles, Clarice. Simplicity. What is the first and principal thing he does? What needs does he serve by killing? He covets. That is his nature. And how do we begin to covet Clarice? Do we seek out things to cover it? Make an effort to answer now. The character makes me no. think of the Joker. <laughs> yeah. Very, like, no. he's so not straightforward. I always speak what you see every day. Don't you feel eyes moving over your body, Clary? Why did you leave that ranch? Doctor, we don't have any more time for any of this now. Then just answer. But we don't reckon time the same way, do we, Clary? Later. Now, please listen to me. We've only got five. No. I will listen now. I heard a strange noise. What was it? It was... screaming. I went downstairs, outside. I crept up into the barn. I was so scared to look inside, but I had to. What did you see, Clary? You. What did you see? Lamp. 
were slaughtering the spring lambs? I opened the gate to their pen, but they wouldn't run. They just stood there, confused. They wouldn't run. I took one lamb and I ran away as fast as I could. Where were you going, Clarice? I don't know. I didn't have any food, any water, and it was very, the lamb. very cold. I thought if I could save just one, but... You ate it. It was so heavy. I didn't get more than a few miles when the sheriff's car picked me up. The rancher was so angry, he sent me to live at the Lutheran Orphanage and Postman. You still wake up sometimes, don't you? You wake up in the dark and hear the screaming of the lamb. No, they're, they're silent now. And you think if you save poor Catherine, you could make them stop, don't you? You think if Catherine lives, you won't wake up in the dark ever again to that awful screaming of the lambs? I don't know. I don't know. Oh! She's trying to make the lambs silent. Silence of the lambs. That makes sense. Tell me his name, Doctor. Okay. Is this the a -hole? Yeah. Let's go. Oh, get him good. Get him good. Out. Oh, get him. Sorry, ma'am. I've got orders. I'd put you on a plane. Maybe he did tell you the name. Brave Clarice. You will let me know when those lambs stop screaming, won't you? Tell me his name, Doctor. Clarice. You did tell him everything you need to know is in the orders. Okay, Oh, get it! Bye, Ew! I was gonna say, who? I, I didn't know if that was his hand or her hand. Their hands look similar. What a creeper. But I was like, is she feeling him? No, <laughs> if if that was her finger, like. She's like, thank you. <laughs> <laughs> mm. Oh my gosh. Oh, the. Part of the pen? Mm -hmm. Yeah. Ooh, I wonder if it's gonna get out, out, and then go kill that doctor. Yeah, That's what I really gonna, want. He's gonna break out of that, that thing. Okay. He's using that to break out of the, um... Yeah, out of the cups. Tubs. Yeah, I know, but I mean, it's gonna get out, out, like, if it's out of the facility. Yep, once they open that door. Why are they both going They literally there? bring him salt and pepper. <laughs> he, like, his meat raw. And they said it was his door. second... Why is yeah. one not watching him? So slow. And look at him, he's not paying attention. These are bad cops. Yeah, he's smelling his upper lip. Oh my gosh, he's gonna get eaten right now! Oh gosh. Jimmy, watch it, he's got it. Oh. 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 Use the best scene. Kill him! This is my favorite scene. <laughs> this is my favorite scene. <laughs> he eats their tongue. Oh, I think they're okay. Now he used your own thing on okay, you. Okay, but like, why was there only two guys watching him? Like, shouldn't there be more guards around? Yeah, this, this is like mass security. Oh, is this your thing? Yeah, this is this it. Is your this box? is it. Let me see. That's that. Yeah, he's holding the thing. They should have the blood on his face in there. Yeah. I wish. That's a whole buffet for him. Y'all are pawns. For real. To get it done real hard. He not there. Why don't they all go? Shouldn't they all be like in different places? Oh, God. Look at that posing. Oh, yeah. he's a moth. Isn't he a moth or something? Oh, dang. Sergeant Tate, he's alive. Bro, you got no time. I'm wearing your Philly's pants, son. Huh? Talk to him. I mean, they're probably not what great even if they do have Anything. Just, I mean, talk to him, damn it. Lecter is missing and armed. Pembry. Pembry, can you hear me? He took Boyle's gun. Pembry got off one round. There's a chance Lecter was hit. Main stairwell secured. We think Watch, he's, he's one of these and you're just like hidden. Oh, there's blood dripping. Oh, he's up there. Oh. Or he was. Mm-mm. Who He's hiding. Yep. Sure is. Shoot up! Keep shooting. He's on the roof of the elevator. Why didn't you shoot up? Okay, guys. No movement. It's a cop. Oh, he's a big bad. General, this is 
Did you just mutilate the faces? Or yeah. Oh, his face is covered. You don't see it on him. Well, they put that on him. And no, they put that on him. Maybe he put the face of other people's skin on him. On his face. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. That'd be fun. Got him on lactated ringers running and uh that's a ball. Yeah. Oh. Imagine where it goes. <laughs> oh man. It's that or jail for life. <laughs> Lucy just sitting here knowing the knowing the answer as we're all like, maybe he <laughs> he's sewing up the skin so he can wear it. That's so disgusting. Cause he wants to be a lady. Mm -hmm. Oh, that's why he asked what size dress you are. Mm -hmm. Cause he needs the perfect size. Lecter said everything we need to catch him with is right here on these pages. Well, I can't. Doctor Lecter said a lot of things. No, let her. He's she's here. right. Let her figure it out. <laughs> what did Lecter say about the first principles? Simplicity. What does this guy do? He covets. How do we first start to covet? We covet what we see every day. Hot damn, Clarice. You know her. Hot damn. Her bedroom's how she left it. Upstairs. Size 14. He's making himself a woman's suit, Mr. Crawford, out of real women. And he, and he can sew, this guy. He's, he's very skilled. He's a tailor or a dressmaker. Or, that's why they're all so big. He has to keep them alive so he can starve <laughs> them all. So he can loosen their Starling. skin and take... Starling, Starling, we know who he is and where he is. We're on our way right now. Come on, girl! Mm, I see what she about to do. Who do you fuck with? Ah, <laughs> <laughs> oh, this girl. Almost. So close. She taunting her like, bitch. You thought. What were you trying to do? She was trying get to get, get the, the dog. To go down there, so yeah. probably he could go down there. That was smart. Yeah, Try no. again. Come here. Call her dad. Is that someone's skin? Like hair? On his head, yeah. Yeah, he made his own lace front. <laughs> Somebody's hair. Innovative. Sewing was her life. Oh, sure, me and Pam Malavese used to help her do alterations for old Mrs. Littman. Can you give me Mrs. Littman's address? I need to talk to her. Down here, you sack of shit! Yeah! You sack of shit. <laughs> They do not have the right. Yeah, yeah, it, it's, it feels so obvious. It's like no suspense because it's so obvious that it's not that obvious. Like in the 90s, they could have got, probably got away with it. You make me hurt your dog. Watch it open it's like, it wouldn't be that creepy well. <laughs> You're gonna beat up some, some poor guy. It really is, though. It seems like a kid that answers the door. Do it, mister! Oh, wait, is it? Were we just talking all that mess about them? It's <laughs> actually the right house. <laughs> oh, oh no, man. she found it. Okay. They tried to get it. Okay, okay. They tried to get Our instincts were right. <laughs> we thought we were confused. <laughs> we were a little confused. Right. Ramon, you've seen it. I forgot. Ramon, you just it. Your name is? Oh, uh, Jack Gordon. Mr. Gordon. Good. Um, well, Frederica used to work for Mrs. Lippman. Please Did tell you know me her? she told somebody. No, uh -uh. And they ain't got no cell phones. No way. Mm -hmm. Was she a great big fat person? <laughs> yeah, she was a big girl, sir. It's so funny yeah. that everybody keeps saying that. And these no, people I are like, about not her big at all. <laughs> you want to come in? No, or don't, or don't, don't. Yeah. She knows. I think she knows. She's though. good, dog. She she knows how to defend herself. No, she could. Yeah, I'm not even worried for her. That's true. It's going to be something of, like, remember when she, she missed that spot? And then oh, they yeah, yeah, yeah. Her. Check your back. Oh, yeah. She already got the needle in the briefcase. Foreshadowing. She's ready to go. Did she leave any records? Any business records? Who's Miss Slipman? The um, oh, the butterfly, the butterfly. Yeah. Frederica used to work for her. They used to sell or something. Oh, okay. Mm -hmm. Oh, yeah, the mall. Yeah. She's catching on. I like her eyes. Piercing, yeah. Yeah, sister. I already knew she had the Nina on the strat. Uh, if that's what I was thinking, too. 
I mean, I'm not gonna have dishes in the sink, but this is amazing. Very good. We all got dishes in the sink, <laughs> Freeze! Put your hands over your head. Put your hands in the back. Yeah. Thumbs up. Freeze! You got a gun right in there, girl. Mm-hmm. It's right in the kitchen. We synced it. I'm Let's scared. Check I'm scared. Check the corner. Check the corner. Check the corner. Bam! Ear back of your head. You're gonna get two skins now. This doesn't feel like a horror film. You know, it's like it's like suspense. Yeah. I bet that dude might even come and help her. Check your corner. Who? The one that said um. The one who fled the cops. Oh, Hannibal. Yeah, cause he's like they're friends. <laughs> I forgot all about Hannibal, honestly. <laughs> he might be done, actually. Oh, yeah. Because he got, he got two movies to come to. Turn around, girl. Look at those pictures. I know. <laughs> oh, his, his oh, woman suit's coming together. Yeah. No, it feels like she dropped her guard. You don't drop your guard. <laughs> come on, girl. You're freaking me out. <laughs> don't look away, don't look away. She get a little too messy for me. Yeah, she real messy. She a little messy for me. She a little messy. I mean, she's trying. She didn't check the corner. The door. He's right behind. Me. Girl, how the fuck should I know? <laughs> I'm gonna get you out of there, but right now you listen Stop. to me. Stop! You don't need to look at her no more. I'll be right back. You don't look to. No, don't you do already know she down there. Look at Wait, they did have cell phones in the nineties. Yeah, but the the, this is, and this is ninety one yeah. though. They had it later in the nineties, and those were the big bricks. And like, also you had to be rich. Yeah, she a FBI training. And they're, yeah, they're not as common in there. I hate this. Maybe the silence of the lambs will be when she dies, you know. I don't hear the lambs anymore. I don't know, I think she's gonna die, y'all. I'm like, it's a possibility. Why didn't she just stay in that room? I don't know if she's she in like the safe. them or whatever. Yeah, like, I'm trying to... I feel like I it's, hate a, it's this. a possibility. I hate I'm this. slowly coming to terms. I hate this. <laughs> I hate this. Natasha, do you hate this? Yeah, I don't know. <laughs> Ew! Ew! Disgusting! <laughs> oh, it's dark? Oh, girl, you done for it. Oh, did she got her? Oh no, he got the x ray. Yeah. You took the lights off. Sister, sister. <laughs> you done. You did. She was better just staying. I'd be cool with her dying. I feel like that's realistic. Oh, she's shoot. Oh, she is shook it. Girl. This is oh. some good acting right here, though. Yeah, but she won Best Actress. This is some Oscar. really good. Don't you freaking hear his steps, bro? She not, she, 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 she's she's breathing too loud. She too, she, <laughs> she's off guard. She's yeah. not, she's not in, in touch. She ain't with, ready for yeah, this. Yeah, she's not ready for this life. Yeah. She's an idiot. She okay. Didn't give her no leads. She didn't give her no leads. <laughs> she's an she idiot. just walked into a house. No backup. They no told technology. Her they had it figured out. You could oh, feel that. You he... could freaking feel that. You can feel when she, someone's yeah, like this. Yeah, like I could feel that. I can feel it. I'm not even hurt. Yeah. <laughs> Oh damn! He got damn, it. damn, damn! Get the click. Get the click. Get it. Woo! Yeah. There you go, sister. She she emptied the clip. <laughs> she surprised me. He down on the ground like this. She's like, I got Get more. Get the gun out of him, though. She surprised me. I think he dropped it. Good for her. Yeah, cause she emptied the okay, clip. Good. <laughs> she got a good ear. Bill's skin's fit. We saw that at the beginning. Whew. The fact that she did all that on her own. Good for her. Quite I, impressive. I thought for sure she was a goner. Clarice M. Starling. Right? Congratulations. <clears throat> he still wants you. He's gonna. Is he gonna do the rush. finger that oh, Hannibal Lecter? No, he like, he like respects her now. Oh, that's nice. Starling. It's Hannibal. Wow, Clarice. Congratulations. Congratulations. Dr. Lecter. I have no plans to call on you, Clarice. The world's more interesting with you in it. Oh, that's nice. <laughs> you take care now to extend me the same courtesy. You know I can't make that promise. 
I do wish we could chat longer, but I'm having an old friend for dinner. No, oh, I'm having an old friend for dinner. Bye. Ooh, he's the friend. Oh! Oh, yes! <laughs> Have that old friend for dinner. This is the one time it's okay. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Honestly, vengeance. <laughs> oh, I'm in it. Movies, man, they have a way of corrupting. Yeah, your morals. <laughs> Oh, look at his little walk, like, ah, you about to die. Do we get to see it? Do we get no, to see it? That's in the sequel, they'll probably mention it. Mm. It's right there, Hannibal. Hannibal. Should we just watch it now? No. <laughs> Let's get into our closing thoughts. So that was my favorite film, The Silence of the Lambs. What did you guys think? Honestly. Okay. Yeah. Like every time she did something, I'm like, oh, do it, girl. No, do yeah. it. Yeah, no, seriously, by the I thought she was, I was content uh, with yeah. her dying. Oh, I, I was like, okay, she's gonna. I know. Yeah. Like, honestly, it's I, a miracle she's not dead. No, truly. Like, but, like, you know, she got good senses. I, I appreciate that. But honestly, Lucy, I, I was, like, not looking forward to, because I did not know what to expect. Same with your movie, so. I know. I know. <laughs> <laughs> no, it's not good. You never, you never know what to expect, mm-hmm. but yeah. this was a actually because I don't do horror I don't do stuff like that and like from the cover it just didn't look that interesting I've seen this cover so many times Mm -hmm. you know even on like the novel and stuff Mm -hmm. yeah and I just it just never really seemed like it would be that interesting but this was actually a really good film I want to watch the other ones I think it's really good maybe we'll watch well they they did have a lot of awards yeah Yeah. 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 it was it was really good. It had me at the edge of my seat. Like, legit, I was up yeah. like this at the end. It was so good. Yeah. It wasn't as scary as I thought, which was good. Just, I know. The end th- was scary when she was in there. When you the kept dude. saying that you didn't want to watch it in my head, I was like, it's not even like that. Like, <laughs> it's not sinister. Yeah. It's not. Yeah, I'm saying, it doesn't It doesn't feel like your standard, like, horror. I said this during, too, but it doesn't feel like your standard horror movie. It feels more like a, to me, it feels like a, like a cop drama. Yeah. Or trying some to, with some, threat. like, nasty stuff in it. Yeah. <laughs> That stuff I didn't appreciate. Yeah, it's like a cop drama with some gore in it. It makes me. Have y'all seen the Pelican Brief with uh, Denzel and um, what's her name? Pretty girl, pretty woman. What's her Uh, name? Uh, Yeah, this it reminds me of that. Just like that '90s like thriller, like police movie type Mm -hmm. thing. Like it has that feel, which I wasn't. I was expecting more like horror. Mm-hmm. But I don't know if the rest of them like. Yeah, I was like going to like haunted house and you know all that type stuff. But it was just standard. I think it, it was it's horror scary. back in the nineties. Yeah, yeah, it is sort of scary. I feel like horror now is like ghosts, demons. But killers who skin people—it's pretty. I feel like it's more thriller. <laughs> but I feel like there wasn't that much of that. Yeah, yeah. they only showed it when they needed to they show it. They didn't really show yeah. it too much, like it wasn't Which I appreciate. No, me too. I can't do too. I can't. Yeah. I can do enough gruesome. Like, I, I honestly, I like saucing all of them. So no, I can't. Hold no, 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 no. There's some things they got away with this in this movie that I'm like, I don't think they would do that as much anymore. Like him just throwing the like. I was like, that's nasty. Yeah, that was a lot. That was that was a. I lot. was like, oh my gosh. Yeah, no, I appreciate it. it didn't have much jump scare though. Yeah, I'm, I'm not good I with hate jump, jump scares. scares. Um. You know, I'm, I just like that it just pretty much just followed the the initial plot. You know, really didn't bear off from that. You know, they really kept on track the entire time. Acting was great. Oh yeah, no, literally best actor and best actress for them. Definitely yeah, well definitely well deserved. I remember in acting classes they'd always talk about. Anthony Hopkins' performance because they're like he's really only in, in the sh- movie for like maybe 15 minutes mm-hmm. and yet he's the one who got nominated and so it's like dang he was yeah so what do you think you said this is your first time seeing Anthony Hopkins perform yeah no he was really in it and yeah he created a very interesting character I think even the voice is probably not his music yeah I was voice. like I don't that's not the voice that I remember of like his voice in the father at least but like so I thought yeah. I found the voice very interesting yeah yeah because he said this te- technically he's supposed to be the villain you know mm-hmm. but I like when villains uh, like the, the person that's supposed to be the villain in the movie like has like a calming sense yeah. to them he's oh yeah so that's true. calm yeah even yeah. while saying like terrible things yeah 
Yeah. Well, he was a doctor too, so I guess mm-hmm. that makes sense. A therapist, so it like it makes sense. he would ha- he would have that yeah. comedy too. Imagine yeah. like you're like you see a therapist on the news for eating people. Like, oh. You're like, but he helped me with so much breakthrough. Yeah. <laughs> I would believe it. Like that, that that's some normal stuff these days. Mm-hmm. Right? You He's never know. Really job. smart and deep though. Like the way he could read um, the other characters so well. Mm-hmm. I can't remember her name. Well yeah, that's like that's his really? profession. Yeah. Yeah, it was yeah. like knowing people wow. and reading them and He's, he's been in like comedies also, like uh, Bad Company with Chris Rock. Like it's really funny. They both play like uh, CIA agents. Well, he's really? Like okay, Anthony Hopkins is a CIA agent, and like the movie's pretty funny. I like mm. that. Uh, and it's funny because I do like I was saying like m- movies you mess up your moral compass because I do I feel like okay about him getting out even though he's like probably gonna be eating people I'm like oh good for him he got out he got out of jail <laughs> I know yeah, when you guys were like, talking oh, so much shit in the beginning I'm just like I love him like, I mean I, I still care. he probably shouldn't <laughs> yeah he shouldn't do that but, but I, I'm like yeah. yeah no I'm okay with him being free honestly but like there's two more movies so he's probably gonna be killing people he so. probably ate a lot of you gotta watch him <laughs> there's a show too but it's not him it's not Anthony I've Rock. seen the show guy. I've never watched the show but I've, I've seen the show you emphasize him being a cannibal right I don't know I, I don't know I like haven't seen show. it yeah the show is when he's a young doctor mm. I like that I like because it is sort of like how did he become this way yeah but that's how good Anthony Hopkins is. Like he got you to love his character. Yeah, yeah. All good actors. He's like he's like the Joker. Mm-hmm. Like, oh yeah, yeah, that too. That's like, what I was gonna say. Like it very bad. much reminds me of, of that character. Yeah. I was like, oh, your two favorite films are like similar. Uh, well, mine was first. So <laughs> <laughs> who inspired who? Yeah. <laughs> I liked in this film too. Like I think. Jodie Foster, like they underestimated her, but she did. She did all the stuff herself. So I was like, "Congrats mm-hmm. to you!" Because I'm like, this girl gonna end up some dead, sad, tragic. No, and I thought that too. But I'm glad yeah. that they didn't do that. I'm glad yeah. that she could actually be a hero. Yeah, mm-hmm. you know, because they need the backup. You know what I mean? I would have been fine with her dying too, though. No, true. Like, I wouldn't have been mad yeah. at it. No, because I thought she was going to die from the beginning when she was running in the woods. When I realized she was on base camp, but at the same time, like. There are so many times where women are not the, you know, mm-hmm. they, they, they purposely make the man the hero. And mm-hmm. I'm like, I'm glad that they actually allowed in this movie for her to, mm-hmm. you know, come to victory on her own without any help, without any backup. Mm-hmm. You know, it was a really nice woman power. Um, yeah. Woman yeah. Power yeah. And in 91. Yeah. yeah. I didn't notice that. She's like alone yeah. every time. She goes mm-hmm. and sees him alone. She does all the investigating alone until yeah. she like finds him. She like, she's alone most of the time. Mm-hmm. Yeah. It sucks because in the sequel, she, d- she it's not Jodie Foster anymore. It's, um, I can't remember her name, but she comes out in the Hunger Games as... Is it the same character? Yeah, it's still Clarice, but it's a different oh, actress. That's dumb. Yeah. She didn't want to do it. I hate that. Well, they, from what I read, um, they were gonna. The original story went something like Clarice starts falling under Hannibal Lecter's spell, and Jodie Foster said Clarice would never do that. Yeah. So she didn't want to go back, and by the time they completely changed it to like something else that she would want to do, it was already too late for her. Mm. Julianne's still good. I, I saw a movie that she won her Oscar for. I don't remember. I think it's called Still Alice. I'm not I'm not too sure, but she was really good in that. Mm-hmm. So what did win again? Best actor, best <clears throat> best actor, best actress, best, best, best picture, picture, best director, best screenplay, best director, and best wow. screenplay. Wow. Wow, wow, yeah. wow, 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 I kind of see why I got all I could, I could see them. I could yeah. see them all. Oh, I see it. Yeah. Yeah. Even like, especially with you adding the touch about the director with the like the looking into the lens versus her looking off. Like, I think that's a nice touch. Yeah, and I loved when they at the end to just bring it up the um the blue light, the black light. Oh, like the, the black the, light yeah, with the night that, vision. Yeah, that was that was so good. good. Yeah, that was yeah. wise. Cause I and then like that increased the like fear factor by so much. Cause she just like literally like I, I'm like you look I, like a stumbling fool. <laughs> no, you literally like she's an idiot. <laughs> She was. Now that you bring it up, yeah, he did it at the beginning, and then now you he, you do it at the end, and you expected the same outcome because that's what he used the first time that he got the girl in the hole. He used yeah. the night vision the first time. First that's how you meet him with mm-hmm. the night vision. Yeah, yeah. I forgot right. about that. Yeah, yeah, it was good. I forgot.
forgot about those dang goggles till the lights went off. <laughs> yeah, exactly. Oh. I forgot about them. Good callback. Good callback. Oh, nice, nice. Yeah, it was good. Yeah. Good job, Lucy. Any final comments? Good movie. Yeah, not yeah. bad. Not bad. Better than I expected. Yeah. Yeah. All right, YouTube, it's time to say goodbye. We hope you all enjoyed watching our reaction and review of my favorite film, The Silence of the Lambs, and that you'll join us for more. Don't forget to give this video a like, leave a comment below, share it with your friends and family, and if you haven't already, be sure to subscribe. If you'd like to further support the channel and gain access to early and uncut reactions, the, lo the, the link to join our Patreon in the is in the description box. Bye. Bye. Bye.